So at the R series, we have three sizes, the 1500R, 1850R, and 2200R. We found that magic sweet spot between efficiency and stability with the R series. It gives new foilers the confidence to try more maneuvers and progress quickly. The R series is the most popular wing in our range due to its ease of use. We recommend the R series to anyone getting into the sport of foiling, whether it's winging or boat foiling. Oli, how is the R series different to the HA and the MA series? In summary, the R series comes in bigger sizes and is more forgiving for novice riders. It will get you up on the foil earlier and you will stay there for longer. So Oli, why is the R series so easy to use? Well, these wings have a relatively big surface area and big surface area means it's easy to start planning on them. The medium thick profile keeps the drag low and enables a wide speed range. The reflexed wing section we have chosen for these wings almost enables the front wing to self trim. Normally, any wing section you have will have a little concave at the trailing edge, which redirects the flow downwards. If that's happening, the front wing will always do a pitching movement or pitching moment rolling to the front. To prevent that, you need a stabilizer. If you work with the reflex wing section, you basically build in a stabilizer in the trailing edge here, reducing this pitching moment greatly. That makes this wing almost self-trimming. The R series is forgiving and makes foiling easy. It has a really nice gradual lift. So what is important if you start your foiling journey is that you have a foil that as speed builds up, starts raising out of the water gradually. If it just has a sudden bump, you will get this problem that you will be throwing off balance uh, because you know the foil suddenly lifts you. You will jump forward to counteract that and then you're coming into the pitching moment the whole time uh, like a dolphin. You see it often with, with beginners, it's really interesting. Quite often on some of our competitors' products, you can see them coming up out of the water and they get this really sudden lift. Yes. In comparison to ours, it's this beautiful gradual lift up because of the large planing surface, it's nice and fast through the water compared to others. And it's got this nice gradual come down as well off foil. So it's definitely a really easy, fun foil to use. On all our foils, we place a special attention uh, to the balance of the foils. That means if you have different sizes front wings and you swap them out, you do not need to change the mass position significantly. We always try in our calculations to get the balance point exactly right, independent of the wing size. And especially in the R series, this works very, very well. So depend, independent if you take 1500R or 2200R, if you have your same rider weight, you will be able to leave the mast almost in the same position in the mast track as you're used to with the different wings. I've also noticed early that the, the R series, when you place the benefit for me anyway, and I've, I've had this feedback from quite a few customers, is that when you put your feet on the board, you don't have to shuffle forward or back. You can kind of start, place your feet before you get planing. And then as you come up onto plane, your feet stay in the same position. You don't have to shuffle around and move around the board, which is quite difficult once you're up in foil. Yeah, it's a great benefit to these wings that um, there's different types of modes that we like we call them displacement mode. When you're on displacement mode, not foiling, you want to have your stance the same way as when you're on the board foiling. So once you get up on the foil, you want to remain in that same stance. It's hard to shuffle around once you're up on foil. So if we can get that locked well, it's in just beforehand. It's just inconvenient, especially if you're getting into the sports. You, you know, you don't know anyhow what you're doing really, and you're just finding, finding it all out. And if, if we can give you the certainty that you can main, remain your stance in this place mode, in foiling mode in the same, that just makes it so much easier for you. Let's talk about the 2200R, one of the most popular wings in our range. The 2200R is, is our light wind wing. Um, if you're out in light wind conditions, it's really hard for you to build up speed. And for sure, your pumping technique has to do with that. But another way to compensate for that is uh, with the size of the wing. So the area matters, especially in light wind conditions. I guess a big planing surface, how does that help you get up on foil? Well, uh, it's in the lift equation, it's quite an essential part. It's the speed, but if you can't build up the speed, then you need to compensate with area. 
However, there is limits to that because uh, drag comes into play. So if you're getting too big in your area, you tr create too much drag and you're building not enough speed. So what we've done with the 2200R is find the sweet spot. We have a relatively thin profile still that reduces a lot of drag and we get enough uh, lift out of the surface area. Yeah, because these wings are quite fast for their size, aren't they? Yes, they cover quite a wide speed range still. No matter your body weight or skill set, the 2200R is your go-to foil in lightman conditions, especially for heavier weight riders. The 1850R is very similar to the 2200R, however it has a much greater top-end speed. It covers an 80kg rider in medium to high wind conditions, but it also would suit a lightweight rider uh, as a light wind setup. It is a reliable all-arounder and hence that's why it's our most sold wing in the series. Both the 2200R and the 1850 are ideal for winging, but also to learn foiling behind a boat. The 1500R is really versatile. It covers a wide range of foil sports and conditions. It is really a great wing for kite foiling, especially in the lighter wind conditions, or for somebody that's getting into kite foiling and nervous, this would be your go-to foil as, as you're making a start in your foiling journey. We also recommend this wing for foiling behind a boat. Um, it provides a really pitch stable ride, which is what you're looking for when you're starting off. And I guess it's not too fast either behind the boat. No, um, it, it, it's, it's nice and slow, stable. It's a, it has a manageable speed. As all our wings on the R series, it has a really nice gradual lift and it's really, really easy for you to get up on the foil and then remains a stable flight.